Newton's laws of motion. The first law of motion. The car is moving at a constant velocity and it hits a wall. What happens to the passenger is that even though the car stops, the passenger will keep on moving at a constant velocity unless acted upon by a force. This is Newton's first law. So we can see this again. So this is the law. So, when no forces act on a body, that body will either remain at rest or continue to move along a straight line with constant speed. An object travelling at a constant velocity will continue to travel at a constant velocity until acted upon by an external force. Another way of looking at it is, if the sum of the forces acting on a body are add up to zero, the body will either be at a constant velocity or be still, which is the same thing. The acceleration would be zero. This is writing it mathematically. The sum of the forces is equal to zero. Acceleration is equal to zero. A consequence of this is that there's no difference between constant velocity and zero velocity. In other words, there's no experiment that you can conduct that can determine whether you're, you're moving at constant velocity or you're at rest or if somebody else is. There's no way of knowing who's actually moving. So I want you to describe examples of Newton's first law of motion, a rocket in space, an ice skater skating on a frictionless um, lump of ice, a sky do diver falling at terminal velocity. The condition for translational equilibrium, or we just say equilibrium. If the sum of the external forces acting on a body is zero, then it's in translational equilibrium, which means the velocity will be constant. The acceleration will be zero. So what I want you to do now is draw, to draw a free body diagram showing a book at rest on the table. Um, a girl sitting on a bar which is uh, suspended by two ropes. An egg is falling from a tree. The book has a rightward force applied to it and it's starting to accelerate to the right. Draw a free body diagram to show this. Draw a free body diagram to show it um, moving at a constant velocity due to friction. A footballer kicks the ball into the air after it leaves its foot. Show the forces acting on the ball. Show that as a free body diagram. Here you have to find the forces of tension T and S. You have to under remember that this is a 10 kilogram weight, so you can work out mg. You know the vertical components of T and S added together will equal to mg. We know that the horizontal component of T will cancel with the horizontal component of S because all the forces will add up to zero. This is a block on an inclined plane. There's string holding it from sliding down. So there's a tension upwards. There's weight down and there's the reaction. You need to draw a free body diagram to show this. Then resolve the forces and find out what the force is on the string that stops the block from sliding down. We can assume that there is no friction.